you are gonna love this trick. Because after you watch this video and learn the very cool secret, you're gonna be able to call somebody up and on FaceTime say, grab a deck of cards, go to your kitchen drawer, go to the trunk, grab a deck of cards. You're gonna say that to your friend and using your friend's deck of cards over the phone with FaceTime or Skype or Zoom, you're gonna be able to read your friend's mind. That's right, over the phone with their deck. Now, if I asked you right now, you've gotta do that. Even experienced magicians watching this, you might wonder, okay, how am I gonna do that? It's not my deck, it's their deck. And it's digitally. It's, uh, like I said, on the phone or Zoom or what. How would you do it? Now, this is shocking. This is super cool. I've only been performing this myself for the last few weeks. Friends, family, on a couple of my Zoom shows I've done for a couple, couple of long-term clients. Uh, so I've only been doing this for a little while, but getting great reactions, okay? So I'm going to teach you how to do this. And I think you're going to read like it. We're also going to have a question of the week. Question of the week this week uh, is going to be, I'm going to be giving away Deranged. Deranged is one of my mentalism tricks. As always, you can find it at sankeymagic.com. It uses a postcard and a famous image. Uh, in this case, it's the Mona Lisa image. And it all happens in the spectator's hands, and it's a cool prediction trick. It's called Deranged. I'm going to be giving away 12 of them. And for your chance to automatically enter into the contest, free contest, leave a comment down below and tell me, do you think mentalism really exists? Do you really think somebody, maybe a brother and a sister, never a good start. <laughs> Do you think somebody related maybe can read the mind of somebody else or somehow predict the future and not just randomly or move items, uh, telepathy with their... Do you think it really exists somewhere in the world there's a human mind that can do that kind of crazy supernatural stuff or no? Leave a comment. If you give me a little bit, if you say yes or no, and if you explain a little bit behind your reasoning, bonus points, okay? Leave a comment down below, automatically enter the contest. Okay. In a little bit, we're also going to announce the winners of last week's Mind Bending Mentalism Collection. I'm going to give away some of those, but let's get into this really cool trick. So, you call up your friend, okay? Or you text him and say, grab a deck of cards and call me on FaceTime. I'm going to blow your freaking mind. You say, here's what I want you to do. You got a deck of cards? They take out a deck of cards. You say, give it a good shuffle. They shuffle the cards. You say, great. Give it a really good shuffle. So they are doing it on their end, okay? You're not doing it, they're doing it. They're shuffling the cards, boom, like this. You say, okay, put the cards down the table or off to the side of the camera so I can't see them. I don't want to be able to see your cards. Okay, they've done that. Now you say divide the pack in about in half. They divide the pack in about in half because you say, we're gonna use half the cards. I started with five cards, then 15, then 20. I think I'm now, I can do this. I'm gonna try to read your mind. I'm gonna have you think of one of the cards, but I don't think I can do a full deck just yet. It's very hard. There's so many images to try to pick up telepathically. So instead, I want you to divide the deck in half, which they've done. Put one half away. You get to choose. Get rid of half. Okay. The remaining half, give those cards a shuffle too. Boom. They give those cards a shuffle like this. Great. You then say to them, look, I want to get a sense of which 62 cards I'm working with. Okay. That'll help me narrow it down a little bit when I'm trying to read your mind. So hold up the pack to me uh, on the camera here on your phone and slowly spread through the cards one by one so I can try to get a sense of all the cards we're using. So this is what they do. They go through all the cards one by one so you get a sense of which 26 cards you're dealing with. Boom, like this, like this, boom, like that. That's all you ask them to do. Then you say, okay, off camera. Then you have them choose a card in such a fair manner, totally random, they choose a playing card. They concentrate on the card, okay? Then you ask them to shuffle up the cards again. Lots of shuffling in this. They shuffle up the cards. You ask them to lean into the camera. Think of the card. Concentrate. You look them in the eye and you tell them the one card they have in mind. It's that fair. It is that fair. And in just a second, I'm going to teach you the trick. It's so easy. No slides. No sleight of hand. It uses a very old card force that some of you may know, but the other day or about a month ago, I realized, wait a second, that card force, that particular card force will work in this situation. Okay. Now I know we seem quite excited, but it's for two reasons. One, I just drank three uh, cans of Coke. And two, this is a very cool secret. I'm going to share it with you in just a moment. Let me announce the winners of last week's. So here are the people that won my mind bending mentalism collection. Okay. The, on the, you can find it as always on sankeymagic.com. It's called mind bending. It's a collection of mentalism tricks. Here are the names. Jonah Kadena, J-O-N-A. James Garrett. Wendell Q, T-I-U. Wes Keenan. Quentin Lanier. Matt Winters. Nicholas Giegel, 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 
Daigo probably. Sugu Bagiera. Sugu ba S U G E L, you won. Uh, Reagan Moore, Steve Zach Vanny, Keith Hood, and Oliver Passin. Passin. Oh, the word sin is right in there. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Uh, Oliver Passanil. Passanil. Okay, you guys won. As always, if you won, if I just said your name. Okay, I'm going to get in real close. Hold up. Oh, Lord. Oh, look at all the wrinkles. Uh, if you won, uh, contact my team. Send them an email at contact at sankeymagic.com. Say, hey, I won. I won the mind-bending collection. Get it to me. Get, get it over to me. Okay, so let them know. All right? All right. Let's go into this. This is so cool. The Henry Christ Force. No joke. Created by Henry Christ, spelt like Jesus, you know. The Henry Christ Force works in this situation. Okay? It's a wonderful force. Let me show you this. Boom, like down. Here we're gonna come on down. Come on down. Ooh, we're really low right there. Okay, now here's the Henry Christ Force. You need to know the top card of the deck. If you know the top card of the deck, you're going to ask your friend, your spectator, once they've shuffled the uh, cards and they spread them all out one by one, because when you say, I want to know which 26 cards they're going through, you look at the top half. You need to know the top card. You say to them, go very slowly. So they do this, they do this, and all you need to have seen is the top card, which in this case is the Ace of Hearts, okay? Now you have them do all the shuffling, so they really get a sense of shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. Then when you say put the cards off to the side, on the table, face down, I don't want to touch them, you're only going to use one hand. Tell them this is a one-handed thing, put your other hand aside, which they do. Now, here's what you say to them, very simply. You say, here's what I want you to do. I want you to lift off. Two cards, four cards, six cards, eight cards, a small packet, your choice, as many as you want, lift them up, off, okay? And then I want you to, with the same one hand, turn them face up and put them face down, which they've done. You say, totally random, your choice, you can cut where you want. Say, we're going to make a real mess to keep this as random as possible. Now I want you to cut the card, reach and lift off some cards again, but this time even more cards, maybe half the packet, maybe three quarters of the packet, whatever. Turn those over, which they've done, okay? Totally random. And you say to finish now, what I want you to do, make sure there's no hidden cameras, make sure there's no one else there that can possibly know this. I want you to just slowly spread through the cards until you come to the first face down card. I want to make sure there's nobody in the universe that could possibly know which card that is. You shuffle the cards and then I want you to not even turn the card all the way over. Just take the tiniest peek at the corner of the card, which they do. And no surprise, it's the Ace of Hearts. And it's always the Ace of Hearts. Because this force is so smart, okay? So, you know the top card. When they lift off, whether they lift off two cards or five cards, the only thing that matters is the second cut must be deeper or more than the first, okay? So, again, I'll show you. Just randomly turn over some cards. Boom, like this. Cut a little deeper. Randomly turn those over. And the first face-down card is always the top card. So, do not waste this amazing opportunity to blow somebody's mind, right? They shuffled the cards. And have them shuffle them. I often have... Actually, let's leave it slightly angle it. It's kind of dramatic there. I always have them shuffle it afterwards. Say, you, you, you peek at the card. You'll remember it, okay? you remember it. Pick up all the cards now with both hands. Give them a shuffle again. So they really think, okay, I shuffled them before. I shuffled them after. I cut the cards. I had any choice. Then I lift up some cards. Lift up some cards. Took a peek. Shuffled them again. It is crazy fair. Crazy fair. And uh, then the real question is, how do you reveal it? Now that you know Ace of Hearts, do you want to do a psychic read with a pad of paper, just sort of getting a sense here, getting a sense, pad of paper and a pen? Mm, wait, now tear, crumple. That's not it. That's not it. Okay, I'm getting a sense. Do you want to slowly read it? You know, let's. I'm gonna look in your eyes. I, you know, I can tell uh, people are lying. I've got a certain tell. The iris actually shrinks and grows. You feed them some sort of scientific bullshit. Okay, is that what you're gonna do? Look in their iris and say, okay, is it a black card? And then, hmm, is it a red card? Ooh, is it heart diamond? And one by one, is it high? Is it low? Do you want to really milk it? Do you want to send them a text? Just a text. Just would like hearts. And then next of, and finally ace. Kiss my ace. So many different ways to do this. But this force, I was thrilled because this Henry Christ force is as old as the hills. I don't use it a lot in my professional work, but when I realize it'll work online, that I can contact someone, say, grab a deck of cards and prepare to be myrtleized in the brain. Super thrilled. Okay, I hope you love it. Leave a comment down below. Okay, leave it. Try this first. Try this first. Let me know. You can always put, I read my comments. I have no life. I read my comments and I appreciate my fans' input. So leave a comment also for your chance to win. I want you to have a chance to win the deranged 
Mona Lisa postcard mentalism trick. Leave a comment and let me know, do you think ESP or telekinesis or Ghibli, Gib, 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 that's some sort of weird thing where people are able to make porridge move simply by using certain sounds. Do you believe any of this stuff exists or not? What do you really think? Somebody in the world, somebody in the world, or do you think, no, it does not exist at all? Leave a comment, let me know, and a uh, heads up for you guys. If you're serious about your magic, you need to be serious about your psychology. And I recently post, not one, not two, but three, I put three new videos on my new Instagram account. Sankey says, I'm going to leave a link down below. You, if you're interested in magic and learning about the art of magic and all that kind of cool stuff, the psychology of magic, how to present, how to overcome nerves, confidence, all these kinds of things. If you're interested, start following me at Sankey says on Instagram because I just posted three new videos. One video is about trust. How to get other people to trust you. What is the psychology of trust? It's huge when performing magic with people. The other one, the other, two other, um, the other one is on one of the videos, I reveal what I sincerely think to be one of the biggest secrets to my success. Why I've been quite successful as a magician, a comedian, a rodeo rider. Um, one of the biggest secrets to my success, a video on there as well, as well as finally, and again, this is all just in the last week, a third video I put at Sankey Says, uh, the Instagram account. And the third video is all about what do you do after a show? You've just done a performance. Now, do you go off and meet friends or do you go off and watch a movie, do something? Or are there some very special things you can do directly after a performance that can really help you become a much better magician? And these, this advice works whether it's a live show or on Zoom, FaceTime, whatever you want, okay? So definitely start following me, Sankey Says, uh, on Instagram. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, stay safe, and maybe you'll consider right there. What's he going to point to? There's a ghost. No, right there is going to appear magically um, the subscribe button. Click on that. Click on that right there. Subscribe, okay? And then over here, what do we do? I don't know. There'll be a video be a video over here. I'll make sure it's a particularly good one. Not all my videos are amazing. This will be a really good one. This will be subscribed. And of course, follow me. Sankey says, thanks so much. Stay safe. Stay seen. Not seen. Yeah, stay seen. Make sure people can see you. Uh, stay sane. Stay sane. We're not quite out of the woods with this darn COVID thing. Slowly it's happening, but let's not blow it now. Let's continue to stay safe and have a great day. And thank you. Oh God. We knew what happened. He's not winking. He's stroking it out.